Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to update work items using Team Foundation Server 2013 Web Access. The scenario in this case is, let's say that uh, there is a work item type task uh, that's assigned to you. Let's say the task is a creation uh, uh, of um, creating a database and that is assigned to a database administrator. And let's say you are a database administrator and that task is completed. Uh, since that task is completed, you wanted to go ahead and update update the um, um, work item and say that that particular task is completed and the work item type is task. So you wanted to use a web access. The reason that you wanted to use a web access that you're not at your um, you're not connected with the client where you have uh, installed Visual Studio. So you don't need Visual Studio. You can go to Internet Explorer and as long as you have access to Team Foundation Server and you're uh, in a network if Team Foundation Server is not exposed to um, external uh, uh, internet then uh, uh, you can go ahead and basically uh, update your work item using Internet Explorer and you don't need uh, Visual Studio. So we're gonna uh, learn how to do that in this video. So uh, this is my client machine. I'm going to go ahead and connect with my Team Foundation server using Internet Explorer. You need to know the URL to connect to Team Foundation server and you need to have access. These are two prerequisites that needs to be met before you can use um, web access. So we're gonna go ahead and this is the URL for my TFS Tech Brothers TFS 8080 is port and TFS is the portal. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And uh, if you have used um, uh, Team Foundation Server um, web access before, uh, whatever you browse, whatever team project you you've been connected to it'll be right here all the list would be right here but if you don't then you can click on browse and go and connect to your team uh, project so this is my tech brothers team this is my uh, team project so I'm gonna go ahead and click that a little nice interface gets opened so right now it will tell you everything right here that is um, uh, that of uh, the work and we have a code uh, and build and the home in order to get to the uh, uh, to update uh, the work item we're gonna go ahead and click on work and it'll open up for us the uh, the work related um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and we can run a query right here uh, if you don't know what query is and how to find um, uh, particular work items please watch my video how to find a particular work items in team foundation server so we're gonna go ahead and edit the query and we wanted that uh, we can go ahead and add the clause right here uh, this is the team project add team and uh, this is assigned to at me and we're gonna go ahead and click up here and you can cho choose right here uh, everything that um, all the criteria is right here these are the filter criteria, and you can add that and then after that once you're done you can go ahead and click on this little arrow and run query or you can go ahead and click run query once you r ran the query that means all the criteria that that is all the project um, work items that's assigned to you will appear right here once you find the particular work items that you're looking for and you wanted to update that they will be in the list down here so you need to go ahead in order to update that you need to go ahead and double click that uh, particular work items so right here I once once I double clicked it opened up that particular work item for me so I'm gonna go ahead and update that because uh, here is original estimated let's say uh, hours were 20 and remaining is zero and work completed work is 20 let's say that I wanted to do that and you can make other changes right here you know this is this belongs to you this is your work item and whatever the changes that you need to make you can uh, up here you can actually uh, change the state let's say that you just wanted to state that it was proposed and now it's active or it's closed you can go ahead and do that and um, reason up here you can you know uh, it's, it's rejected it because the the work wasn't done or whatever the case may be 
after you do that you go ahead and click on save work item and it'll save your work item right there and uh, this is how you uh, uh, update your work item using web access in team foundation server again you don't need to be um, you don't need to open up your visual studio you can go ahead and use Internet Explorer all you need to do is need you need to know the URL for your TFS and you need to have the uh, proper access in order to update your work item and I hope this video helps.